Hi, I'm Terry with from PokerRailVard.com. Today, we're diving into the importance of understanding preflop over pair probabilities. Knowing the probability of an opponent having a higher ranking pocket pair than yours can make or break your strategy. Let's get right to it. We'll say you have pocket eights in the cutoff position in a nine-handed game. How do you quickly calculate the probability of another player having a higher ranking pair? First, there are six pairs that will beat your eights, and for this example, we'll say that six players remain in the hand pre-flop. Multiply the number of pocket pair that will beat your eights, six, by the number of players remaining in the hand, six, which equals 36. Then divide 36 by two, so there is an 18% chance of another player having a pair pre-flop that will beat your eights. I have often spoken about that you must have a plan for each hand you intend to play, so let's think about our pocket eights. Of course, we are hoping to flop a set, which the probability is 12%, or 7.5 to 1 odds. Then we have to think about the potential for an overcard to our eights on the flop, turn, and river. First, there is about an 80% chance that an overcard to our eights will come on the flop. If, by some miracle, that doesn't happen, then we have to feign the turn and river, where there is a 50% chance on the turn and 45% chance on the river. With all five cards on the board, there is a 95% chance of an overcard appearing. Let's back up for a moment to the turn and river. What are our probabilities of getting an 8 on the turn or river? Let's do the math. There are 3 cards on the board, and 2 in your hand that you have seen. So, there are 47 unseen cards, and assuming there are no 8s in other players' hands, there are 2 left in the deck. So for the turn, we have a 2 in 47 chance of catching an 8 or 4.25%, which is 22.5 to 1 odds, and about the same on the river. So if we combine the turn and river, we have about an 8% chance of hitting our set of 8s, although when it comes to betting or calling a bet, it is advisable to look at each card, turn and river, independently of each other. As depending the size of the pot and the size of the bet, you must determine if you have the proper pot odds in relationship to the probability of making your hand. We will discuss this further in our next video, Pot Odds and Hand Probabilities. Let's look at a simpler way of calculating our hand probability for the turn and river. As you know, outs are the number of cards remaining in the deck that will complete our hand, or at least give us a strong hand. Back to our pocket eights and the turn and river cards. As I said, there are two eights remaining in the deck, our two outs. To quickly calculate your probability of hitting an eight, we will use the four, two rule. This means for the turn, we take 4% and multiply it times two, our number of outs, which gives us 8%. Remember, the 8% is the probability for the turn and river combined. Then, for the river, we would multiply 2% times our number of outs, two, giving us 4% for the river. Let's look at another scenario and calculate our outs and hand probabilities. Here you are dealt the jack of spades, 10 of spades. The flop is eight of spades, nine of spades, and the three of diamonds. This gives you the flush draw, straight flush draw, and an open-ended straight draw. How many outs do you have and what are your probabilities for the turn and river? Let's do the math. There are a total of 13 spades and we see four of them, leaving us nine spades in the deck. Plus, any queen or seven will give you the nut straight. So we have four queens, four sevens and nine spades, or a total of 17 outs. But one of those queens and one of those sevens is also a spade, so we have to discount two of the outs. This will give us 15 outs. So for the turn, we will have 4% times 15 outs, a 60% probability of making our hand, again for the turn and river combined. If we miss the turn, then we have 2% times our 15 outs, a 30% probability of hitting our hand on the river. To dive deeper into the math behind poker, including overcard probabilities, overpair scenarios, and calculating your outs, visit us at PokerRailbird.com. Just head over to the Poker Toolkit section, where you'll find all the charts, breakdowns, and strategy articles designed to sharpen your edge at the table. That's all for now. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. This is Terry Wood from PokerRailbird.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the tables.